Clarissa, or The History of a Young Lady, by Samuel Richardson is a defining epistolary novel that delves into the complexities of virtue, social norms, and gender dynamics in 18th century England. Through an exchange of letters between the characters, Richardson crafts a narrative that navigates the struggle of Clarissa Harlow against the societal constraints and the oppressive forces she faces. At the heart of the novel lies the character of Clarissa, young woman endowed with virtues of purity, integrity, and moral strength. Her characterization is juxtaposed against the societal expectations and the manipulation she faces from her family, especially her brother James and the repellent suitor, Lovelace. Clarissa's steadfast adherence to her principles despite the pressure to conform is a testament to her resilience and unwavering moral stance. Central to the narrative is the theme of gender and power dynamics prevalent in the 18th century. Clarissa's autonomy is consistently challenged by the patriarchal society she inhabits, where women are seen as mere pawns to further familial interests. Her struggles against the domineering male figures in her life depict the societal limitations imposed upon women, highlighting the stark gender inequality of the time. The epistolary format of the novel adds depth and intimacy to the characters' emotions and motivations. Through their letters, readers gain insight into the inner workings of Clarissa's mind as well as the conflicting perspectives of other characters, providing a multidimensional view of the unfolding events. Richardson expertly employs this technique to engage readers in the characters' dilemmas and emotional turmoil. Lovelace emerges as a complex antagonist whose manipulative nature and relentless pursuit of Clarissa blur the lines between love and obsession. His character serves as a representation of the dangers posed by unchecked male privilege and the misuse of power. The contrast between Clarissa's moral rectitude and Lovelace's moral depravity accentuates the novel's exploration of virtue and vice. The tragic trajectory of the story amplifies the societal critique embedded within the narrative. Despite Clarissa's unwavering commitment to her principles, her fate is ultimately dictated by the oppressive forces surrounding her. Her tragic end serves as a commentary on the limitations imposed upon women in a society where their agency is stifled and their choices restricted. Moreover, Richardson skillfully addresses the theme of virtue and its societal significance. Clarissa's virtue is portrayed as both her strength and vulnerability, revered by some characters while manipulated and undermined by others. The novel prompts reflection on the societal perception of virtue and the harsh realities faced by individuals who strive to uphold it in a morally flawed world. In conclusion, Clarissa, or the history of a young lady stands as a poignant critique of societal norms, gender constraints, and the struggle for autonomy in the 18th century. Through the nuanced portrayal of characters and their moral dilemmas, Richardson delivers a compelling narrative that continues to resonate with readers, inviting contemplation on timeless themes of virtue, power, and the human condition.